Hello and welcome to this very special edition of Arirang News. I'm Moon Gwan Young. Now, the first high-level talks in nearly a year between South Korea and North Korea were adjourned after stretching into the early morning hours on this Sunday as the rivals look to defuse mounting tensions that have pushed them to the brink of a possible military confrontation. Now, our presidential office correspondent Chu Sun is live on the line. Yu Sun, the two sides are expected to resume the talks later this afternoon. Right. Uh, at around 5 a.m. this morning, President Park geun spokesperson Min kyung wook read from a statement prepared by the two Koreas saying the high-level meeting had adjourned at 4.15 a.m. Now, that, that means the meeting at the Truth Village of Panmunjom had continued on for some 10 hours since Saturday evening. The spokesperson added the two sides will resume talks at 3 p.m. today to try and narrow their differences. As for progress in negotiations, he only said Seoul and Pyongyang discussed a wide range of issues to improve and develop inter-Korean relations, including ways to defuse tensions escalated by the recent exchange of artillery fire between the South and the North. Kanyang. Right, Yusin, so the um, ongoing tensions in the region likely dominated the talks yesterday. Yusin, what are the key differences that the two sides really cannot seem to agree on? Well, for starters, Seoul is demanding that Pyongyang apologize for its recent landmine blast in the demilitarized zone that left two South Korean soldiers seriously injured. Seoul is also seeking Pyongyang's apology for the latest artillery fire that triggered the escalation of tensions as well as a promise of preventive measures. North Korea, for its part, denies responsibility for both incidents and wants the South to stop its anti-Pyongyang broadcast that resumed after the recent landmine attack. Considering the fact that the South's unification minister was in attendance, the two sides may have exchanged views on non-military issues such as resuming reunions of families separated by the Korean War. Now, it's likely North Korea also urged the South to stop its annual military exercises with the U.S., which it considers to be a war game, and sought ways to resume inter-Korean tourism and other economic projects that were suspended after a series of Pyongyang's provocations. While it's difficult to predict whether the two sides will bring about a substantial outcome, it's worth noting that they came to the negotiating table amid tensions, and rather than walking out of the meeting, they agreed to take recess and meet again to narrow their differences. And Pyongyang has displayed its will to renew dialogue with Seoul by sending Hwang byung ho who is known to be North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's top military aide. It's also the first time that Seoul and Pyongyang are holding ministerial-level talks in nearly eight years. Well, that's all I have for now. This was Choi Yoo-sun reporting on the two Koreas' high-level meeting.